What's going on everyone? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Open Shop channel, which is basically just a homebrew application that lets you install files quicker, like emulators and certain games. So for most of you who have already seen my how to install emulators on the Wii video a while back, this will be kind of a continuation onto that, so stick around and I'll show you what to do. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do here is open up your internet browser and you're gonna head over to this website. I'll leave a link in the description below. And it is the Open Shop channel. So it's pretty simple. Just hit uh, download homebrew browser and it finishes pretty quickly. So we're just gonna right click it, show in folder. And we're gonna get our Wii SD card ready here. And it's uh, pretty simple. So I'm just gonna right click and extract two. That way it doesn't make a mess here. And you see we have the homebrew browser folder. I'm just gonna click that. And we're gonna go to homebrew browser again. And this you can see that this contains the boot for the main application. And all we have to do is toss this into our apps folder. If you don't already have an apps folder on your SD card, go ahead and create one. But this is where you'll be keeping preloader, homebrew browser, and other emulators. So uh, it's actually pretty much it as far as the SD card goes. So we're gonna go ahead and head back over to the Wii and insert our SD card back into that. All right, now that you have the SD card in, the first thing you wanna do is make sure your console is connected to the internet. Mine already is, so I'll be skipping that step. But if yours isn't, go ahead and pause and do that. So we're gonna head over to the homebrew channel. Hit start. Give that a second to load up. And you'll see we have the homebrew browser application right up top. So I'm just going to hit A and go to load. And we're just going to let this do its thing. It's going to check all the necessary requirements that it needs, verify that your system's connected to the internet so it can load all the crap that you can download. And yeah, so just let it do its thing and we'll come back. All right, and once that's done, you'll see uh, a lot of things on here. Uh, it has a demo section, emulator section, game section, media section, and utility section, all filled with everything you could probably ever need for the Wii. But from what I came here to do is just show you basically how to install some emulators. So uh, I'll just grab some simple ones here like SNES 9GX. All you do is click it, click download, and uh, you just let it finish and it's really as easy as that and that'll bring all that into the uh, homebrew browser. So we can go ahead and back out of this and I'll just grab a few more while I'm here like Visual Boy Advance, just hit download. You can see it also has the SNES 9X GX channel installer which is pretty cool. This will put the channel on the main menu. So I'm just gonna hit A and do download for that. And it's really that simple. So I'm just gonna hit the home button now and head back over to the main menu. I'm just gonna go to reboot Wii. Okay, now we can go ahead and head back over to the homebrew channel again. And you'll see here that just a few things that we downloaded are all here, like SNES 9GX, the channel installer, Visual Boy Advance, and I think it's all I did for now, but I'm just gonna run the channel installer for SNES 9GX. Do you want to install the channel? Yes, I do. Channel installed successfully. And we'll go ahead and go back to the system menu just to verify that it worked. And look at that, you can see we have a Super Nintendo entrance into the emulator, which is pretty neat. So it beats having to get a WAD manager and doing it yourself. I don't know the extents that the Open Shop channel can go to to doing this with everything. But uh, as far as emulators go, it's you know pretty quick to do. Now adding ROMs, that's a different story. So if you guys don't know how to add ROMs and get your emulators going, I'll leave a link to a previous video below and you guys can see what to do from here. So that's pretty much it. I mean, the rest is just all on you. You guys have to navigate through there, see what you want and download it the way that I showed you. But uh, 
If you guys like the videos that I'm putting out here, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. If you run into any problems, let me know down in the comments, and I'll catch you guys later. Adios.